How's it going everybody? Today what we're going to be doing is getting a simple bleach bypass look in DaVinci Resolve. This look is used a lot in war movies. Movies with a lot of battle. So you'll see with the clip I chose why I chose this clip. Let's get right into it. Alright, so this is our footage we are going to give our bleach bypass look to. Let's look at our project settings under color management. I'm in DaVinci YRGB, so uh, DaVinci is going to manage my color for me. I'm gonna go to color. This is uh, raw footage, so I'm gonna go straight from here. Uh, integrating, uh, we have our first node, all right? So what we're gonna do is, psh, for me, I'm already gonna start opening the image, all right? And as you can see, the image heavily favors the blue, okay? You can see that, I can see that. Yeah, we're just gonna start to open this image up because it's looking pretty, uh... there we go. So we opened it up, I used my uh, primaries, my lift, gamma, and gain is what I use. And I'm just kind of finding a sweet spot to start with. So I think that this is a good spot. So bleach bypass, uh, we have to destroy our image uh, and be very dramatic, all right? very dramatic very 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 dramatic all right so we'll go here and we're gonna add a node we're gonna add a layer node now this uh is an important step so we have our two layer nodes and we're gonna go to the top one and we're gonna take our shadow or take our saturation down to zero all right and then we're gonna right click here we're gonna go to composite mode and we're going to hit overlay Whew. And now look at the effect it has put on our image. I think it's already looking like a pretty satisfying image, if you ask me right now. I say we're done. We could be done, but we're not, we're not. We still have a lot to do. Okay, so anyway, so now from here, after we do this, this right here, these three nodes, or these two layer nodes are kind of like our look. And then we can come here we could label this one a part of the look too if we want to make any adjustments to you know the colors and the highlights and then the shadows everything's kind of on the blue side so in bleach bypass you want to make sure it's an unsaturated image because that's kind of what gives the effect and we kind of have a nice uh, glow in the highlights and a nice shine to the armor uh, we're going to give that more of that effect here so i'm going to add another node and we're going to skip the look for now i'm going to add another node and i'm going to go to my log wheels all right and i'm going to start messing with the highlights i'm going to kind of crush the highlights guys we're going to crush them all right overexpose maybe and i'm also going to crush my shadows all right now sometimes it's good to not mind losing information or clipping your shadows, clipping your highlights. If you're trying to create a very dramatic look. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I can even go right here and increase the highlights and the shadows, decrease the shadows. And then I'm just going to increase my range a little bit. And then go ahead and increase your low range a little bit downward range okay so we'll call this one highlights sh slash shadows all right because we're really manipulating the highlights and the shadows in that one and you can come back to the first node and uh, label that pri for primaries all right so as you can see we're already getting a pretty good effect um remember i'm um, we can be very dramatic in the beginning and then we can come back and kind of calm things down if you like so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another node and I'm going to go to uh, the blur and no, we're not going to blur it. We're going to bring it down to about 45. We're going to give it a nice sharp look. Very sharp. As you can see, I'm going to zoom in super sharp look and that kind of gives a nice effect. We're going to go off and on with it. Yeah, that just makes it look even better. It kind of creates a nice shine in the armor. Okay, so we're going to call that 
sharp. Um, now, what you can do is, uh, guys, keep up, because I don't want to have to, uh, you know, explain this again, even though you could just rewind the video. But let's create another node. I think I want to kind of pull the skin out a little bit, just a little bit, guys. Tiny bit. Just give me, just, just let me do me. I want to go to qualifier, all right? I want to pull some of his skin out. I want to make his skin kind of stand out a little bit. You know, even though it can't be too saturated for this look, we can still pull it away from the cool a little bit. Click on qualifier. I'm going to go to his face. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go up here and click the highlight. And now I'm just going to make sure it's just his face that's highlighted. Okay. And then we're going to go to denoise. Put that up to round 10. Blur. You can put that up to round 10 as well unhighlight and then i'm just going to go to my regular primary color wheels and i'm going to go to gamma i'm just going to kind of push it away from that blue you guys can be a little bit dramatic here if you'd like and then you can come down here to saturation and kind of calm it down and then we'll go off on with that and i like it i'll bring it down back towards blue a little bit just so it's not too unrealistic and dramatic because you at the same time you want this to be to feel real you don't want people to really notice like oh his his face looks like it came from a nice summer day in the everglades so oh we're gonna go ahead and label that skin and now go ahead and add another node and we're going to add some glow guys Okay, whoa, too much. This might be a look you're going for though. So if you want to leave it this dramatic, you can. You know, it could be a dream sequence. We don't know, but I'm gonna calm it down. I'm gonna put my shine threshold up. The spread, I'm gonna bring the spread down. Okay, you can get kind of creative here with the relative spread, spread green, relative spread blue. And I think I'm gonna put the relative spread blue up a little bit, just to make that armor even. Give that armor more of a pop and then i'm gonna go to global blend bring it all the way down and then raise it up a little bit to my liking so we'll go ahead and label that glow cool now you're going to want to create another node you're going to call this one film g we're going to put film grain all right but we're going to be crazy about it because we want it to look absolutely Bleach bypassy grain size. We're going to increase it like crazy to around there. You can put the opacity down a little bit. And there we go. We have introduced all that film grain. And now this is looking like a real war. It's looking like we're in the battleground with this man from 1940. And then I like to always add a vignette so let's create another node type vignette up here drag it in and that's crazy increase the size go to global blend let's bring it all the way down and then creep up that's fine like halfway that's good so we'll label that big and this is a really simple uh, node structure too uh, nothing crazy going on so I like to come to the last node and let's add some corrections. Um, let's go to our log wheels, go to highlights, and I'm just gonna unclip them a little bit because I do wanna be dramatic, but I do want this image to look appealing as well. You get me? I know you get me. You can get as dramatic as you want. I'm gonna bring it down there though. I'll bring the shadows down even more. Let's watch this. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. It's very grungy, very dirty. Uh, the skin still sits well. And then you can go to look for the last step and you can even warm up the uh, the shadows a little bit. And there we go. So this was before, This is, we had the bleach bypass kind of look. And then with all the um, additions, it really made it pop. You, you were really brought into a world. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Now you know how to uh, do a bleach bypass look. 
leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, support the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.